today I got the lovely Sophia here beside me. Oh. It's so cold. I got the puppies. And I got the lovely Gabby behind door number one. Before we start today's video, I just wanted to say something no, that's really important. Because last time I saw her, she was sorry. Okay, she's behind door number two. I don't know how she'll feel about being behind door number two. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to today. Today, I just wanted to remind you guys that sometimes things in our videos will seem odd and different and crazy to you sometimes it'll be because we live in different areas and things are done differently in different areas sometimes it will be because you know something different than what we know oh, yeah, to be true i just want to inspire you guys with the thought that we all do the best we can with where we're at whether it's location whether it's with growth whatever i would love for us to all agree to allow people to have their own journey, allow people to do things their own way without judgment. Watch and learn and see how people do it in different areas of the world and take the parts that you like and leave the parts that you don't like. All right, here's a question. This to the barn. Should Gabby, Sophie bring this halter to the barn? I love your little mew. Yeah, the thin one's a big fluffy one. That is a big fluffy one, little mew. But that one has fluff. Good morning guys, we are in a hurry today. We are on our way out. We are on our way out. Yeah. But Sam is at work, so we are doing chores before we go. And Penny Pickle is a slow eater. My girl loves to savor her food. So, uh, oddly enough, I wanted to tell you guys that I've been writing in my journal all the things that I am, all the things that I aspire to be, and it's been happening. This whole struggle with the cell phone, normally I'd be like, I'd be mad, I'd say some mean words, and I'd be done with it, and I wouldn't even pursue it. I've been so calm through the whole thing, you guys. I, I'm calm now. I'm a calm woman. I'm calm. Laura is calm. I know. It's shocking. Like, I've never been calm in my entire life. Suddenly, I'm calm. Do you think the cat was here? Or do you think that whatever left the hair in our barn? I think it was Molly. You think it was Molly? Oh, I need to call and get Ruby a haircut today. Yeah. I reminded you. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. you guys will never believe what Gabby wants for her birthday. You want another border collie puppy. Gabby's, Gabby wants another border collie. That's how addicting these dogs are. She, what do you love the most? How obedient she is? How quick she learns? Yeah. All and of the above? Cute. And she's cute. What color would you get next time? Same. You want the exact same of everything? Wow. Just wider stripes. Next Water time, I'm getting is a border collie because they're not dad. <laughs> She's getting a border collie next time too. Underneath her chin. So if you're wondering if I'm going to be surprising Gabby with a border collie puppy for her birthday, nope, it's, nope. They're due in June. They're due in June. Yeah, <laughs> she already knows. There will be no more puppies. Even when we move, we have a life full of puppies, and I want to be able to love them all and give them all the attention that they already get. I want to be able to spend time with all of them. I don't want to over. Do it with oh, puppies. No That's the same hair. I could never figure out where that came from. That's the most bizarre thing of life. It does look like belly or hair. Or maybe she attacked raccoon. Yeah, it doesn't look like raccoon fur. Kind of does. All right, hay is out. Yeah. All right, let's check the temperature. It's freezing. It is minus six. Minus six, but it is cold as heck. Come on, Penny, like we are waiting. <laughs> it's nice that she likes to enjoy her breakfast, but we are waiting. Oh, you're ready to let my girl. This is a very commotion filled barn. Remember a long time ago when I talked about how like a lot of people think that the way the gated horse moves is weird and odd and different and like not cool um and that i got so much resistance when i said i wanted to buy one because people are like ew i love it like i watch her move and it's becoming my new normal like i love watching her move she's a cutie you see what i see what a What's tunnel it? yeah that's that be where the raccoons live could be Right, we were ready to go. It is 9.08 a.m. and 9.08 a.m. and we're up and ready to go. Normally, Gabby never talks to me in the morning. She's doing so much better. And huh? today. Just wait. You Could you take that and throw it in the dumpster for me, please? I knew that was going to happen. Gabby and I both have coffee today in our travel mugs. 
This is my Stella. This is my oh. Stella travel mug. It might yeah. not look exactly like her, but it's the closest whenever, thing I have to her. Whenever I push Thank you. Put the cups with Stella on them. I put them in the front. So Why is it warm? warm? Oh. Because it's not warm yet. It takes a few minutes for you. Yeah. That's why you gotta wear a coat, Gabby. But anyway, welcome to today. I uh, We have a lesson today with Brandon. So Brandon is back. Yeah. We are like in the business of horseback riding again. And it is also the middle of February. It is gonna be Valentine's Day. We are, our society is open. I wanna get to see my grandkids. You guys are gonna get to see my grandkids. Comment below what video you want. I told Sam I wanted us to sleep outside in the winter in a tent in the snow. And he said, no. <laughs> there was no that? discussion. Oh, we can put a heater in there, put cots in there. It'd be so fun. Oh, I was just on the cot. Oh, yeah, we'd never be able to heat it, Gabby says. It would just be too cold. Um, so I would like to sleep in the barn too, but remember we have like a little five-year-old, a little almost eight-year-old. We have to be this super careful fun. about what we do, but I'd love to do a 24-hour video. It would be so fun. Um, I know, you guys sleep downstairs. <clears throat> I sleep upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens. Gibbs past the grandbaby stage. We're not burning my mattress down. Not. Yeah. So, I don't know. Our house is so little. I tried calling a hotel and thinking like, mm, that would be so fun. And we could actually go and sleep in a hotel. Like, we could do that. Would you rather do that? We could do it. But the problem is, is this. Is it heated? Yeah, it's heated. The hotel is heated. The only problem is, is that I have a five-year-old active boy and the pools are open. So, all we could do is go there. Like that would be a good girls day. Like you could just go there, relax, watch movies, order lots of food and just kind of do that stuff. So I don't think it would be good for Jacob. But anyway, comment below what you guys think would be a really good 24 hour video. Anyway, let's get on with the video. I'm going to finally, hopefully, knock on wood, get my phone. All right, it happened. I think I'm getting the phone. So basically they had to, re they had to, verify my ID and they called the guy on the phone and they said hey I want to uh, validate her ID and they said oh, we don't need that there's nothing on the account that says that and I'm like okay this is not gonna work so then the guy tried to push the phone through and then an error message came up and said they need a validation so he validated it and I should get the phone within five to eight days so yeah so the reason it's so hard is because this is like um a higher end oh, phone ages. like a special order phone but anyway since we're in town and we had to do that we're going to do a little bit of shopping we're going to set the new why do they need validation Sophie's favorite store when you're going to set up everything what why do they need validation when you're going to set oh. up everything on your phone and give all your information on your phone so no. they can easily track it because people are out there that steal phones but i have to tell you guys something i you have to have an appointment now because of covid and there was this little tawny old man he's probably italian he took came, a text taxi. came in a he taxi was not italian. came in it he sounded like italian came in a taxi and got dropped off 15 minutes before the store opened it's minus 19 degrees outside or minus 15 degrees outside so cold I mean, and one of the employees a man showed up a few minutes later and he let the old the little guy he let the little old guy in the store early and not only did he let him in the store early he didn't have an appointment and he helped him all he needed was help figuring out his phone because when you get a new phone and sometimes it's like beyond and you because he's old he was at the time before phones we're not prejudiced against age though you guys we're he just was at the time before phones so he doesn't know how to work it yeah it was hard for him he can't see as well probably can't hear as well and this young guy employee, all the girls are still in the back. And then when you get AirPods, there's a button on your phone that you can activate. And it'll let you hear through your phone. So whatever oh, sound your phone picks up, cool. it goes into your ears. All right, anyways, I wanted that's to- That's how I spy on people. I wanted to tell you that story. You and even that. though I got there and I had to wait past my appointment time for that little old guy so to be handled. So if you have toxic friends and think that they're toxic, but don't really know, do that thing and just leave your phone in the room and see what they say about you once you leave. Wow, did you see that on TikTok? Yeah. That, I'm gonna get me some, I don't care about toxic friends because the truth is we are all on our own journey and what <laughs> other people think I don't have about friends. you. I only other, have like two. Whatever, you only need one. If you have one good friend that's on your side for life, that is all you need. But if a friendship lasts longer than seven years, then they're for life. Mm -hmm. So we have three more years to go. So 
what your opinion of me should never I mean, matter to me to because Elizabeth. and the tiktok said send this to a fake friend and i waited a little bit and it says jk you're my best friend oh oh my gosh all right anyways you guys get the oh point God, I, so I send her something don't let other people decide your journey decide it for yourself Since but it, i just but that I man send Kaylee, 50 million tiktoks a day sometimes i send the ones where it sees if your best friend's actually watching them all the way through or not mm -hmm. and she does Oh. And I don't do that. And anyways, I just want to say that it restores my faith in humanity when I see people that go out of their way to help someone in need. That is beautiful and amazing. And oh, I did I not mind waiting extra minutes. Weird. Look at this. All right, let's go. Let's go shopping. Can we get our goods? Those are good. Get them for me for Easter. Easter or Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are always. They're, uh, they're gross. Dollar store chocolate is gross. Yeah, if we, if we put bubbles outside in Canada right now, they'd freeze. It's a sign, you guys. It's a sign that spring is coming. Spring and summer is on the way. Oh my God, it's a blow up ball of Elsa. We can kick her face. Hey, Gabby. It needs to be one. <laughs> I do not know how I raised such a violent girl. Oh, look at these little balls. It'd be great for the bearded dragon. Gabby is ready to go and save the world. Oh, follow Gabby. She's going to lead us to Sophia. This is not the aisle that Sophia goes down. We'll go down that way and then we'll go down. This is for sure not a Sophia aisle. I'm going to buy this. It's for makeup. It's a magnif magnification glasses. I want it for other things. Sophie's kind of sucking us into the oh whole squishy experience. Every time we come, there's new squishies, well, um, new fidget toys. I want one that I can keep in my hand for public. Look at, I'm gonna show you guys what's in my purse. In the bottom of my purse is my breast implant squishy. I carry it everywhere with me. I love it that much. Please. Oh, I really like those. Oh, yeah, you where can are have. They? You can. Where are they? Where are they? You can buy that one. On. Get a different one. A family that fidgets together stays together. Oh, I was getting ready to go get our horses. But they're all in. We are having another lesson. Gabby is riding storm. So we have it all planned out. Hi, huh, Vinny. I'm gonna go in with it. We have it all planned out. It's actually not that cold in the barn. Gabby's riding storm in lessons with Brandon and Chino with Fiona. All the horses are in and ready, had their food. All the horses are in for the night and it's cold Do out, not you guys. Take this. I will not take that. I have my snow pants tonight. Every time I take Gabby's blanket in the barn with me, I always get it all dirty and full of sand. Hello, Stormy boy. Can so, I just sit on top of you? He'll so Sam's going to get coffee for him and coffee for Brandon. And hot chocolate for Gabby. And we are going to have us a nighttime lesson. It's been a good six weeks since we had a nighttime lesson. Personally, we think that Brandon's going to be shook by Storm's new performance. But... Brandon's the kind of guy not to let it show. Do you think he's going to let it show? No. Do you think he's going to let it show? He's going to act like Storm was this good all along. All right, we're ready to roll. The only problem is Brandon hasn't arrived. And sometimes Mom. I like worry because I haven't talked to him this week. Like I've only talked to him a couple of times. But I do that to my... It's kind of neat being in like at bedtime with all the horses. We got all the horses are in bed. Finny's in bed. Kiss me twice. Cause They're all in bed. Except for Storm. Poor Storm. Gabby says she knows jealous. <laughs> Just in case you're interested in the whole new cell phone saga. So the guy messaged me back again today and they discontinued the order again. They just, they, they kicked out the order even though I've paid $200 now. Every time I place an order, every time I do everything that they ask me to do, they disconnect it. The company is just so big that nobody's on the same page so i don't think i'm getting the phone i don't believe in getting the phone you guys i left it with him he's gonna try and figure it out on monday but there's a chance that laura is not getting the phone that she wanted things always turn out exactly the way they're meant to so but i'm getting the phone i want but gabby's getting the phone that she wants uh oh careful your hot chocolate's about to tip over i drank it all mm. pray for us guys pray that brandon shows up wouldn't that be so disappointing? Uh, Chino's oh, interested in his bum. Chino. Oh, oh, there's a different horse on a different field. Oh, he might just kick it. Don't kick him, Storm. 
Remember when, uh, what's her name, Raven was here? That paint, mm -hmm. the blue eyes? That I loved. She accidentally got in one day, because Al was running in the horses. The storm was in the cross eyes, and then the storm kicked her. He kicked her? You are a kicker? Out. He just kicked her. He, he, I... But she smelled him. Smelled his butt. That was yeah, the storm does not like people smelling his bum. Do you like people smelling your bum? No. <laughs> Do you like people smelling? Who smells your bum? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, this got this got no. weird no. fast. I know who smells my butt, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, she's always yeah, smelling she something. Don't you even think about it. No. no. It was yesterday. Hey. <laughs> so hurry, I'm trying to save your life, because there will be kicking involved if you don't keep your nose to yourself. All right, there's a problem with lessons. We're having lessons in the dark. Abby's gonna be riding in the dark. All right, so today, for today's, viewing, for today's viewing pleasure, we are going to do a fancy ride in the dark with musical lights. Good thing you got Storm. Chino will be quaking in his boots. Storm, you did a good job there. You keep you warm. Keep you warm at least. Hey. Horses are always warm. It'll be warm now. Be all cozy when he goes to his stall tonight. Especially with he, when he has treats. So, you like riding storm? Yes, except for the spooking for no reason. Well, I think I caught the last spook, but I don't know why he spooked on that one. Was it because of a horse there or no. something? No, darkness. It's because it's too dark. Laura's gone to the car because it's too cold. At least she's warming up. Though. It's minus. Today is supposed to be the coldest day. It's supposed to be like minus 35. Yeah, I can't feel my legs. Yeah, minus 35 tonight. <laughs> so it's like minus 20 with the wind chill, minus 35. Are you excited to stay up to 1 a.m.? No, because we're not staying up till 1 a.m. I am. No. Yeah. Oh, because I'll be waking you up for chores tomorrow. Yeah. Getting dark now. Hey, Chino. She knows a messy horse too, I think. That's the name that pops in my head. Hey Tex, you a messy horse? You're a paint, so are you messy? Tex is messy. See? I swear, paint horses must be messy. If you have a paint horse, is your horse messy? Comment down below. Because I think paint horses are messier than other horses. Because Storm is pretty clean. Chino is not too bad. Yeah. Finn, he poops on the walls. He likes to keep his stall clean, so he just poops on the he wall. Pees though. Yeah, but he poops against the wall, so he's kind of clean. But Penny just poops everywhere. Pees everywhere, poops everywhere. And it, it's like I'm cleaning up. I swear she does it on purpose or something. I clean up more in her stall than any other time. And then then outside, because I think she does it all in her stall instead. And outside. Or we're feeding her too much, but I don't think so. But anyways. Don't eat the bride. Anyways, we're putting Storm away, and that'll be it for today's video. So, see you hey, tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Finn says bye. Bye. Chino says bye. Chino says. What do you say, Chino? Bye. Bye. Don't you know that